oh hey family welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is nonso and on this channel i'll be doing lots of diys natural hair care videos and showing you guys how to achieve your hair goals without breaking the bank by just creating recipes from your kitchen if you're yet to subscribe to this channel please click on the subscription button give this video a like comment on this video ask me any questions you've got regarding hair issues and i'll be there in the comment section answering them hey family welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you guys how i make my hair growth oil listed on the screen are all the products used for making this magical hair growth oil we have sesame ripseed avocado peppermint castor black castor and tea tree oil all of this oil are cold pressed not processed the castor oil is extra virgin and it's cold pressed the sesame the rapeseed oil are all cold pressed because i just wanted an oil that's not really processed and also we've got the shebe powder which is really the highlight of this magical oil and so really for the measure, uh, measurement in this video i must say the only um thing that i did really measured was the shebe and it was just one tablespoon full of the shebe powder but with the oil i just did like the eye level measurement i kept pouring until i was satisfied with whatever measurement i felt i wanted and more especially because i wasn't like going to make too much um of the oil i just wanted something that was going to last me say at least two to three weeks and yeah i just used my eyes to measure i think the ancestors were also at play <laughs> but with the peppermint oil and the tea tree i kind of like used my eye to gauge 10 drops i didn't want to overdo the peppermint and the tea tree oil so yeah if you're going to replicate this procedure just do whatever so you use whatever oil you're comfortable with you don't have to use exactly the same oil that i'm using you can use whatever oil you have in your kitchen there's sunflower oil there's uh, olive oil just use whatever you feel like your scalp is uh, comfortable with you know because i know for a, for a fact that my scalp my hair loves avocado oil my hair loves um the rapeseed oil i'm actually trying sesame oil for the very first time but the other oil i've actually used to do this process because guys you need to see how horrible my crown used to look like i actually for the purpose of this video i tried looking for an old picture of how my crown used to um look like but to be honest i think i deleted most of all those pictures i had in my phone for I, don't, I think I was really embarrassed with the way my hair looked like. So I looked for something close on Google, which I'm going to be showing you guys. Even though the one I had on Google looks a bit fair because mine was really, really horrible. It was from my crown all the way to my nip area. Like no hair whatsoever. Then the lady who was making my hair, she'll take a picture. And whenever she shows me what my hair looks like, oh my God, I used to feel so embarrassed, you know. I thought my hair would never grow back. Um, I think secondly was because I had like an underlined health issue. And so I thought, oh, this is it for me. And this is what my hair used to look like before I started losing all of my hairs. And also my hair has never grown past this level. And this hair is processed you know i permed it normally when you perm your hair you're supposed to get it all stretched out where your hair is like super long and then i was feeling myself you know guys but with the underlying health issue it's like everything just spiral downward and 
thank goodness for me discovering this oil, me reading about my hair, finding more about my health condition. And since then, it's been different. And right now, what you guys can see is me do, doing the double boiling method. Most times when I'm infusing my oil, I rather, I like doing them cold press, like do the cold press method without me using heat. But for the sake of this, and because I've run out of my magical oil, I decided to use the double boiling method. Normally, I'll just infuse the oil, keep it down in a cold, um, dry place for almost two months. Trust me. So most time when I'm making oil, I make like big quantity, different type of oils. I'll make them in larger quantity so that I can return to whichever one I want to use and but now to be honest i think life just um took over and i forgot to like infuse and keep down for the fact that i don't have any that's the reason why i'm using this two um, this double boiling method you can also do the same or just keep it down in a cold dry place for a week or two you don't necessarily have to keep it for a month but i think the longer the potent the the hair oil is so but this also will definitely do the magic trust me this also will work just keep stirring it i think i allowed it to boil for like five ten minutes within 10 15 minute max and my stove was like on the lowest i left the heat the flame was like on the lowest it wasn't like on the highest it was on the lowest so that slowly as the water is warming and heating up the it will also be affecting the the oil and listen guys back to me telling you about my hair and so I, um because of my underlying illness i was losing my hair my hair was thinning out i was going bald i was so embarrassed like i wouldn't leave my hair open and even if i take picture just to see the way my hair looks like i delete them almost immediately because i was ashamed and maybe a little bit terrified that someone else other than myself will go into my phone and see what my head looks like so i tend to delete my pictures yeah i should have kept them if i had known and so guys after infusing the oil on the stove i kept it down for it to cool and then i um, poured the oil after cooling down i poured it into my mason jar and kept it for two days to infuse for like two days that was what i really did just two days i couldn't go past two days because it's like for the two days that i didn't have this i was only using my clove and ginger sprint to spray without massaging my hair with oil and i don't really want to go back to that phase of me neglecting my hair because i am terrified of my hair falling off again you know so it's like if i don't take care of my hair obviously because of the underlying issue it'll definitely i don't know maybe i'll start going bald again and ain't nobody want that <laughs> i don't want that yeah so after two days this is what my oil look like she's such a beauty yeah she's such oh my god like and i think sesame oil oh my god that sesame oil smelled so nice i loved i loved the way it smelled to be honest so so in love with it i think she's a keeper i'm gonna keep her she's a keeper in all of my oil mixture i'll be keeping her let me tell you guys a little bit about the benefit of this hair oil that i use today with sesame oil sesame oil helps the strand to look smoother and because of the fatty acid that is in um, sesame oil it can help with combating hair dryness and dry scalp with um rapeseed oil it is a perfect choice for dry hair the unsaturated fatty acid possesses strong moisturizing property which seem to coat the hair better than other oils that's what rapeseed does it is light and it also penetrates the scalp and the shaft while avocado um, moisturizes repairs strengthens your hair and also i think study also found found out that the minerals like those in avocado oil can help seal the cuticles which can prevent the hair from breaking 
because of how rich avocado moisturizing property is you can actually use avocado oil as um, a leave-in conditioner and also you can use it as your detangler your anti-breakage solution you know avocado oil does a lot it can also guard against split and skies that's just the little benefit you get from the oil and not to talk about peppermint we know how um rich it is to the scalp health we know how amazing castor oil is and also tea tree oil so after straining out my oil and putting it in an applicator bottle what i do next is i apply a little bit a little drop of those oil into my hairspray bottle and in my hairspray bottle i've got like the castor and um peppermint uh, um spray which you guys already know by now <laughs> and because this spray has been a mega change in my hair game so i think i'll be sticking to it i also have other hairspray that i'll be introducing you guys to so after mixing the oil with my um clove and ginger spray what i do is i shake it properly before i'm um, spraying it all over my hair making sure my hair is sat saturated with the mixture uh, another thing to note guys is because of all the stuff that, that i've been dealing with with my hair what i tend to do is i make sure the spray in my bottle is warm so before applying the oil into my spray bottle i make sure i hit water in the kettle then put my um spray bottle in a bowl and the warm water not hot warm water because i didn't want the spray bottle to melt because you know when you apply warm water into your hair it opens up the cuticle faster which makes your hair absorb all the nutrients and i think that is one of the main reasons why my hair was able to grow back in and also i was able to achieve um some of the results that i've achieved so far and also after um spraying my hair i use my massaging um comb to kind of like massage my hair for about 10 minutes because this is a bedtime routine i do that between five and ten minutes and then i make sure i go to bed with my satin scarf on or my satin hair bonnet on i do this every day since after washing up the shape from my hair i've been literally doing this because i wash my hair bi-weekly i don't wash my hair weekly i do the bi-weekly washing and this is me one week after washing my hair i've literally had this um protective style for like a week and every day after that i've been doing this procedure which has also been helping me i've seen a lot of change in my hair game like it's been so amazing i can assure you be it alopecia hair thinning balding shedding breakage this mixture this hair oil like it's definitely going to help your hair you to be able to gain back your hair health i can 100 percent guarantee you that so thank you guys for watching this video bye bye